welcome back everyone i hope you're keeping well just gonna have a little look over the trench foot now i haven't got any trench foot haven't got any stages of trench foot haven't really been out around the map so what i'm going to do is break out some of the footwear and what i've done is along the stream here i'm going to try and simulate as best i can so when your feet are, it looks like as if they're constantly wet so if you're traveling in the snow you're really going to feel it so i'm going to go in and out the stream up this way i've just set out another foundation up there with a wardrobe so I've got exactly the same endpoint, so I'm covering exactly the same distance. And the footwear I've got in, obviously I've got the high top shoes, the basic ones. I've got a set of Crocs. Now they're actually classed as slippers, so I don't know whether those and the Christmas slippers will do the same things. Um, you know, the construction boots, a few variations of those. The wellies, um, the combat boots, the hiking boots, motorcycle boots, and the bear shoes. So what I'm going to do is, right, they're on right let's just take them so they're nice and dry feet are dry let's equip those and what I'm going to do I'm going to walk in and out of the water up the stream up to the other table and I'm going to see how it affects the health and how far it goes down in these shoes if I've got to do a couple of journeys up and down from the other um, foundation I will do but I'm going to try and keep it exactly the same distance um, the weight I've got I've got sort of what I would generically carry anyway so obviously the weight you're carrying is going to have an effect on that you know the heavier your stuff the, the, the more wear and tear you're going to get on the footwear so i'm going to edit it up obviously not the walking bits but i'll try and try and be as accurate as i can because it's a tricky one because like i say it's going to affect people differently weight you're carrying etc etc and um, environment you're in so let's go down and get into the water My feet are soaking wet. So like, I'm going to sort of travel as I normally would. Just up and down. This is probably going to take some time going through all them bits of footwear. And I could have to be, could be running about for quite some time before I start noticing any injuries. But like I say, I'm going to do it normally as possible. Let's see how we go. Right, so I've made it up to the other end. As you can see, it's not that far. Just uh, giving a notification, just signalled that my feet are wet. I've been going up the side of the stream and just crossing the stream, just jumping from one side to another with a bit of wet feet. I'm having to actually do more resting than anything else. This is going to absolutely kill me. So I'm going to be doing more resting than actual walking. But I'm going to plod for it. So I'm going to go back down to where I started and, um, and then, then see if I'll get any notifications or even creeping up to a stage one. Like I said, I'm carrying a little bit of weight, so I'm huffing and puffing. Alright, so I've done four journeys, like what, there and back twice. Um, all I've got is the soaking wet feet notification. Um, I set my stopwatch and I've been running and resting, or walking and resting, just traveling normally as possible for 15 minutes and haven't hit no problems as yet. Um, just dipped my feet in the water a couple of times, so they are soaking wet and uh, they are deteriorating so you do have to travel quite some time before it starts kicking in now what I'm going to do I'm going to pop to the snow and I'm going to run around in the snow for exactly 15 minutes again with the trainers on just to see uh, what it's like and here we go my feet wet they're not quite wet yet I'm going to keep going back and forward for 15 minutes exactly just to see if it's any worse or it's similar, the same. There we go, I haven't got no wet notification yet. Absolutely killing my stamina. You can see the weight going up slowly, look. Okay, look. So they're obviously getting wet. Let's have a rest. And there you go, look, you can see they're starting to get wet. So it's not instantaneously in the snow. As soon as you get on there, not like the water, if you jump in the river, they're instantly wet. So you do have a little time before these actually go wet. And I've got the stopwatch running, we're on two minutes. Just over two minutes. 
So it looks like you're going to get a good few minutes to run about before your feet get wet. There we go, look at that, 0.14. You can see they're getting wet. But not as fast as I, I would have thought. So it looks like it works pretty well. You know, I've covered a little bit of ground going back and forth here. Alright, so I'm now five and a half minutes in exactly, just from tooling up and down here. And as you can see, the trainer shoes are nearly fully wet. So I'm expecting to get the indicator soon, saying your feet are soaking wet. Alright, I'm just standing in the snow. They're going up. So rather than walking about, I could just stand in the snow for a good length of time. Currently on, let's see what we're currently on at the minute, time-wise. Just gone over eight minutes. It's actually creeping up faster standing still by the looks of it. There we go, 0 0.48. 0 0.49. 0 0.50. 0 0.51. 0 .5. So they're fully they're fully soaked now. No, we're hitting nine minutes. And I was running about for, for what, 15 minutes down there with wet trainers. Still no one set of stage one. So that's 25 minutes. There we go, fully wet. And these are just the trainers. These are, are the lowest ones. All right, so I've knocked up a basic improvised fire, which is the easiest one to do. So let's fire that up. Remember, that's on five out of 10. So you'll need to bump that up if you want a bit more heat out of it. So there we go. Let's see how long it takes to dry the socks and, tra uh, socks and trainers. Well, they dry pretty quick. Oh, there you go, they're drying really fast. There you go, nice and dry. And then you can crack on for another 25 minutes, 30 minutes. So that's not too bad, and that's the basic trainers. Alright, so I've come back down here and I've equipped a pair of combat boots. So let's dip our toes. The feet are soaking wet. Ah, so your feet do get wet in those. Okay. So I could try and run about for another half an hour. <sighs> Let your feet get wet in there. So you've got at least a, a basic basis to go on from the high top trainers all right so i have a brand new absolutely dry pair of socks and a pair of rubber construction boots or wellies as we all know so let's dip the toes ah so your feet do get soaking wet in the the rubber boots okay so there you go wet socks so you're still going to feel, I would have thought you're still going to feel the effects of trench foot, but it does say in the patch notes that um, obviously better footwear, you would have thought hiking boots, wellies, um, you know, hiking boots made for hiking, waterproof, etc. Motorcycle boots, waterproof, you know, sturdy leather, you would have thought they would um, not let your feet get wet. Are they drying naturally quick or is that because I'm near the fire? I need to check this out. Right, stay away from the fire. There you go, look, the wellies dry out very quick. You can see that went down wide the uh, inventory. There you go, fully dry now the wellies. Now my socks are still wet, so I'm wondering if that still would give you the onset of trench foot. Hmm. OK, 
Okay, interesting. Alright, so what I've noticed when you wear the construction boots, you saw the way they dried off and my socks were wet. I've been run I'm just walking about jogging for five minutes and now my socks are drying too without fires. So construction boots, definitely the way to go. Definitely buy some from the traders if you can't find any and just travel with a pair of those in case you hit the snow or any marshy regions and that way if your feet do get wet which they will even in wellies you can see they dry off within five minutes your actual socks as well which will stop you from the onset of any kind of trench foot so that's really good to know so it looks like the way to go is construction rubber boots which will um, you know if you're one of those that just wants to get about just have a couple of pairs of those of you and you ain't got to worry about trench foot as long as you get out of the um, you know being in the constant wet constantly I shouldn't think there'd be a problem there you go the socks are fully dry and that's been what less than five minutes I've been running about yes I hope that helped in the way of um, footwear and in the prevention of trench foot at least um, as you see you can run about in the snow for quite some time before it'll actually onset and um, that's just in high top trainers uh, construction wellies like I say as long as you get out of the marshy areas and get into some dry area you're never going to have a problem so it's definitely the way to go so take care stay safe out there and I'll see you in the next one ta for now